there. Uh, is there anyone in this thing? Oh, hello! Cut Life, welcome! Thank you so much for joining me today, ladies. We're gonna figure out what to do with this. First, you'll need a blow dryer. You'll need hair stays blow dry. A clean hair, and today I use Kale's daughter's sacred tiara. And my favorite leave-in conditioner, it's a tin. A Denman detangling brush. And some flat irons. You're gonna start by spraying your hair with it's a tin conditioner all over. And then we're gonna take some Kerastase blow dry. And this is a awesome heat protectant to protect your hair from the heat that is going to partake in. Work it in really good just like that. And if you have a big head like me, you do not want to sit here and watch me blow dry my hair. So we're gonna speed this thing right on up. Now I start off by using the cool setting um, just to kind of get my hair a little drier before I really turn up the heat on this thing. As you can see, I'm, I'm really struggling here. My hair is so thick. Um, I have a lot of hair and it's a lot. My hands are crapping up, but we've got to get this thing done for you ladies and I promise to deliver. White? Is it me or do I certainly feel like Beyonce? <laughs> yes, girl. You too can be me. All you need is a fan. <laughs> what? All right, so we're going to get right into what you all have been waiting for, what you're here for. So you're going to start by sectioning off the hair, just like this. And I guess this would be a good time to let you know that I am not from London. I'm actually a good old country girl from Tennessee. Yep, and that's a good old country kitchen going on in the back of my neck. Girl. But guess what? We've got something for that too. <laughs> so first you're going to split the first section into half. There you go. We're going to pin that piece up. And then we're going to start at the bottom and begin to press it out. All right, so we are going to continue this process. And notice that I'm only going over my roots about three times at the most. And then I go over my hair one time with a flat iron. This is major for my natural ladies who like to wear their curls sometimes. Anytime you put heat on your hair, you are making it susceptible to heat damage. But I like to minimize that as much as possible. And I do that by only going over my hair once. A lot of times I see people, they get so happy with the flat iron. I'm, I just cringe when I see them going over their hair like five times. I'm like, oh my goodness, girl. So yeah, you can still get the same thing, just going over it one time. So we're going to move on to the front. And if you have thick hair like me, um, the smaller the sections, the better, especially um, when you're not going over the hair as much. This will still get your hair nice and straight and silky. So we're on to the next section and you can do it however is easiest for you. This is just the easiest way i found to navigate around my big head. Thank you. 
right, so we are on the top of my head and still so much to go. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I am burning up. It is so hot in here. And like they say, never let them see you sweat, girl. Never let them see you sweat. I wanted to show you every step um, and you'll see why in a moment. I think it's very, very important that you know the products that I use, that you see from washing to blow drying, everything, because it definitely helps you get the final outcome. All right, now to this, 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 this is my absolute favorite. Um, like seriously, I've been using this since the 10th grade. Um, it is Aveda's Anti-Humectant. It is the holy grail for any girl with natural hair that straightens it. Yeah, especially when you're living in humid areas like Atlanta, Georgia. This right here, I can walk outside and my hair will not turn into a puffball. Yeah, it's legit the shit. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to slick these edges, honey. And to do that, I use Cream of Nature's Perfect Edges. I have found this to be the gel that works the best for me and my hair type. Um, a lot of other gels just make my hair curl up, but this one actually does a job within slicking my hair down. So I've been using this one for, for a while now and I haven't found anything else that really does it the way this does. All right, then I just take my hands, I maneuver the hair the way that I want it. I do not run a comb through my hair. I do not, yes, body. I do not run a brush through it. Um, I simply just run my hands through it and kind of get it the way I like it. And that's pretty much it, ladies. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Um, and let me know, give me your feedback. Let me know what works for you. And I just want to give a super duper duper big thank you to the ladies at The Cut Life, Tahira and Maya. Thank you all so much for allowing me to showcase my talents. And I look forward to working with you guys again. Thanks. Bye, ladies.